this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We're going to talk about all the new makeup launches that are dropping every minute that we talk. <laughs> so yes, we're going to talk everything about it. We are also going to do a get ready uh, with me style kind of a video. So if you want to see how I achieve this look while talking about all the new makeup launches, then please keep on watching. Okay, let's begin. Let's prime our face because we've not done that. And for the primer, I'm just going to take my Say Super Gel. I really love this as like a glowing primer. You guys know how much I use this. I even use this as just like a highlighter too. But today, because we are using a new foundation, I thought we'll use this as a primer. See how subtle glow it gives, but it definitely gives like a good fresh look on the face, which I am up for. Oh, I've not even done my brows, but that's okay. We'll do it later. Uh, I have a Gucci foundation to test out. Thanks to Ladybug Glow <laughs> owner. Oh my God. She sent me this sample. Uh, looks like this was a little darker on her. And this one is in the shade 330W. It might work for me. I feel like it's W, so it's warm. I'm more of a neutral person. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, no harm in testing out a Gucci foundation, right? See, it seems like pretty good for me. So let's test out and see how this rolls. But meanwhile, yeah, it's a little bit more on the yellow side for me. That's it. But um, otherwise, the, the depth is good, but the undertone is a little off. But that's okay. Let's just go with the flow and see how it rolls. Definitely more of like a medium coverage product. Okay, let's move on to the new makeup releases. Some were so disappointing and some of them I feel like better than expected. Uh, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the sneak peek that happened with Beauty Bay palette. I don't even know what the palette is called. Uh, I got the picture from Teresa Mulhen. I think that's how we pronounce her name. I'm not sure. I adore her. Adore her. Oh my God, the way she speaks. It captivates me to just listen to her every time she talks. As you can see on the screen, it's more of like a blue, purple, gray tone palette. And this... I feel like if this was the Glam Light um, Ghost Face Palette, I would have been more interested in it. Mm, I just, I'm not too much into grays, but I feel like this serves the craving. Do you want to go blue? Do you want to do purple? Do you want to do gray? Or do you want to do neutral? I feel like it's like a cool tone, purple leaning palette, but I feel like this is really good. And the palette would retail for $23.28 to be exact. <laughs> um... I think this would be available by October 2nd. So by the time you watch this video, <laughs> it'll be available that time. Okay, let's move on and see what else is there. Oh my God, did you see Makeup Revolution is coming out with a collection uh, with in collaboration with IT. I love horror movies and IT is one of my favorite movies. I don't like Makeup Revolution, to be honest. I do not, I am not like a big fan of their products. I, it's okay, okay for me, uh, but it's not like blown my socks off. But when they were collaborating with it, I was so excited, like so excited for this. I'm going to use my Tower 28 concealer in the shade Pali. Uh, I was so excited for it. And I was like, yeah, this is definitely a collaboration for me. Time to test out Makeup Revolution again. And then I only saw the cover, obviously, the, the clown face, right? And I was obviously, I don't know what was I thinking, but I was thinking more like Chucky palette, okay, for this collaboration. Because it's it. You will expect like red and white and black. I saw the palette somewhere. Let me see if I can like pick it out somewhere. I mean, I was not interested in anything else. But once I saw the palette, I was so disappointed. <laughs> I don't know if you were, you tell me, if you were a big fan of it and when you saw that palette, how did you feel about it? I, being a big fan of it, I was like, uh, they ruined it. They completely ruined it. And I, I was very scared for that too because I love it and I felt like they could have done so much more better. I felt like even the shape of the palette and the inside of the palette, it just ruins the shades because of that background uh, because you cannot see the shades that well plus it's a colorful palette i mean i would have definitely gotten like bright and dungy grungy kind of a vibe uh if when i think of like um 
a palette collaborating with it. Um, but now that's not how it turned out. <laughs> so that was that was definitely a disappointment. I'm not gonna buy it just because I like it movie. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of us do. <laughs> um, but apart from that, we have so many holiday launches. Fenty is coming out with a bunch of their cream uh, lip gloss formula. Um, also like that lip cream formula. They have a lot. Uh, they have a new shade that they are launching too. It's called the Crystal Gloss Balm. It's like an iridescent lip gloss formula. Um, very, very excited about it. But nothing that I'm like dying to buy right at this moment. Colourpop has come out with a second Sailor Moon connection. The palette looks really good. Not my vibe, but it looks very, very pretty. I feel like if you are a fan of Sailor Moon, you would be interested in it. I know my brother was so much into this. Not that he's <laughs> buying makeup, but I feel like he would say that they justified uh, the color story of Sailor Moon. But yeah, I'm not gonna be dying for this. Uh, Elf is coming out in collaboration with Jennifer. It's called Dirty Pillows. Um, and this is like a lip set. They have a satin lipstick, their lip plumping gloss in the shade Swollen. All of them are like more of a rosy pink, lighter pink gloss. And also a cream glide lip liner. That's a neutral brown. So it's like a lip kit. Uh, and this lip kit retails for $25, so not bad at all. Um, I'm just going to powder my face. I'm going to take my hourglass, what is this called? Ambient Lighting Edit Mini Sculpture Unlocked. And I'm going to use all these four. Just took this out because of the <laughs> hourglass palette launching. And I didn't want to spend $90 when I'm not using the thing that I already have in my collection. And this I really, really like. But I always, I don't know why, I keep these for like travel and then I don't use it the other time. I don't know why, which should not be the case anytime. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush, just twisting the brush inside the powder and just setting my whole face. Patrick Tuck came out with a, a face palette, which we already discussed last time. But now he's also come out with loose glitter topper. It seems a little bit more chunky. I don't like loose glitters. Uh, I'm sure if you love loose glitters, this is like more of like a, a everyday uh, kind of shades. One is more of a gold topper and one is more of like a white topper, like crystal topper. I think he calls it pearl formula or something like that. It's in the shade, it's giving rich, which is a gold sparkle and it's giving luxury, which is a white sparkle. Uh, both of them individually would retail for $28. $28 for one shadow, one glitter topper. I feel it's super high, uh, but again, it's me. If you give me a loose glitter, I would wear it very, very seldom. Uh, I rather get a palette full of special shadows and then just deal with that and you, I'll use it much more. So that's like an easy pass for me. Uh, I'm not buying the face palette also. It's looking very, very pink. I was thinking that lean more purple, which is unlike Patrick Ta. Um but no, it's more pink and I don't wear much pinks on my face. Um, okay, let's talk about this. Unearthly Cosmetics is coming out with a Devour Halloween collection for 2023. Everything looks super, super beautiful. I saw Heather's video where she was like uh, testing everything out. And I also saw Angelica's video. Um, they both did such a stunning look with this palette. I can definitely see myself grabbing it if, it, uh, if these products were sold separately. Uh, currently, you can only buy the whole set, which has a 12 pan eyeshadow palette, uh, blush highlighter duo, three satin liquid lipsticks, two lip glosses and one lip oil. I'm actually only interested in one of the satin liquid lipsticks and the palette. Uh, so I feel like when I'm only interested in two products, should I be getting like seven, eight products? I don't think that's the right decision for me to do it. Although I love the palette. Um, I'm not big on greens and it has like two striking green shades. <laughs> and I feel like everybody except me is into greens. Although I say always that I'm not into greens. Whenever I do a green look, everybody compliments me. That's very, very sweet of you, but it's definitely outside my comfort zone. That's all that I would say. Not that I don't like greens. I just don't like greens on me. Like I love when these people like other beauty influencers wear green. I'm like, wow, it looks so pretty on you. But I feel just a little out of place 
using the same palette okay uh, but yeah talking about the devour collection it's such a beautiful palette i mean all the special shades i feel like there's a lot of duochrome shades and like one multi-chrome shade uh, in it but i feel like the tones are really really pretty you know how much i love their uh, don't be jelly palette i use them use it like very very regularly i love the addition of the uh, shades that are in it and you she does shade selection so very nicely that you can wear so many looks out of it you get a variety of looks from one palette and i love that about that and this whole collection retails for 145 dollars so do keep it in mind i'm i don't have a code with unearthly cosmetics but i I know Heather has it. I know uh, Angelica Nyquist has it. A lot of people have it. So use any of their code. Save some money. I think codes do apply. At least I hope codes apply <laughs> on this whole collection. So if you're interested, I'm, I'm pretty sure you would love it if you like the color story. Okay, so we saw Alamar Cosmetics was coming out with a collection. Now it's been revealed. It's called the Cheetos Flaming Hot Collection. <laughs> with Alamar Cosmetics. So Cheetos is now collaborating with them. Uh, obviously, when you hear Cheetos, you hear orange and that's exactly what it is. I see a orange shimmering shade. I see a orange matte shade. I see one matte with glitter particles. Not a big fan of that. And then I see a frosty icy shade. I only have one lip liner and one eye primer from Alamar Cosmetics, which I'm gonna to use today actually. Uh, it also comes with a liquid liner. Uh, I think it's an eyeliner or a lip liner, I'm not sure. Let me see. A lip liner, a cheek stick duo ended. I'm not dying for it. Uh, I Yeah, I feel like I have these shades in other palettes. Uh, so I won't be collecting this. Plus I hardly wear I mean, I love oranges on me. I love warm tones on me uh, and I love mauve tones on me, but I don't use quads as much as you can see. Like if you have been with me, you know that I'm I'm into variety. I'm into eyeshadow palettes, but four, I feel like it doesn't give me variety of looks. Maximum that I would be able to do is like two or three looks out of this palette. And I, I'm a person, if I'm getting something, I definitely need variety and this doesn't give me variety. So this would be a pass for me. Okay, KVD. KVD Beauty is coming out with a holiday collection 2023. It comes with six metallic eyeshadows in an eyeshadow palette. It retails for $28. Looks like all of them are shimmer shadows and none of them are like screaming to me. It has like neutral tones, uh, a purple, a blue and a red. Looks more like, you know, the Flower Beauty six pan eyeshadow palette that has like all six shimmery shades, but also more of a subdued version of that. I feel like Flower Beauty screams like glimmery, shimmery, um, sparkly eyeshadows. And this seems more like it screams more satin to me rather than shimmery. I have not tested out anything from KVD Beauty like eyeshadow wise. I have their liquid liner. Um, I have their liquid lipsticks, but I, I have not tested out their eye, uh, eyeshadow palette. I mean, this won't be a palette that would be my first purchase because those shades do not scream smithy to me. So that would be a pass for me. So nothing much, I would say. Let's move on to Makeup On Your Radar because she does a lot of indie launches. And you know how much I love my indie? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I'm so excited for this. Glaminatrix is coming out with an eyeshadow palette and this is called their Rich Romantic Palette. Did you even see their reveal? Oh my God, I was so excited. I was so, so excited. I cannot wait for this to reach me. It's already on my way. Uh, the, brand be, the brand did reach out to me and they said that they're gonna send this palette my way. Um, so happy like I feel like this easily can like rise on to do actually today I'm gonna uh, wear one of the Glaminatrix palette into the night uh, on my eyes this seems so beautiful you know how much I'm into purples this has a couple of purple shades actually two columns of purple it has those rosy tones for like everyday look it has one neutral column for like everyday uh, warm tone kind of a look and then it has like that pop of corals with multiple uh, multi-chrome shades i am drooling over here i also did pick out this uh, sigma and uh, shayla brush set it comes in this like box 
It comes with six eye brushes. They had like an amazing deal. I snagged everything for like $13 or something. That was amazing deal. So I thought I'll just jump onto the bandwagon and just get it. Uh, it comes with the makeup bag and these are how the brushes are. So let me open this and then we'll do an eye look using this. I just blow dried my hair. So if you feel like my hair is messy, that's why it is. Also, let me talk about like when is it launching. Uh, that Glaminatrix Rich Romantic Palette launches on October 7th at 5 p.m. CST. This has four multi-chromes, one duochrome, one sparkly shimmer, one metallic and eight buttery smooth mattes. Everything looks so up my alley. I have a code with Glaminatrix. It's just Smithy Sony to save 10% off. I'll list every code that I have in the description box below for you guys. And it's there in under every video. So if you are ever assuming whether if i have a code with them or not you can always check in the description box below okay so these are the brushes look how beautiful the shapes are it comes with like a liner brush i hardly use a liner brush so i don't know about that it comes with like a blender brush and then we have like a you know flat but fluffy this is a very unusual shape in my collection so we'll see about that then the flat definer brush we have a pencil brush and we have like a, a blending brush, but like more fluffy, but tapered for the inner and the outer corners. Especially, I love those brushes for like halo eye look, which is, I feel that's what I, that's what we are going to do today. Also, one more restock that I want to talk about is It Spell Cosmetics Flare Collection Remix Palette, as well as the Break the Rules Palette. Both of amazing, amazing palettes at such an amazing price point. I have multiple pans on both of those eyeshadow palettes. You've seen me. If you've been... In, on my channel you know how much i love them my favorite is flare collection remix palette uh, but if you want variety of shades in one eyeshadow palette then it's spell cosmetics break the rules palette would be the one for you amazing deal amazing quality i love to wear that uh, so that is also back in stock um i'll link the i'll put the link in the description box below okay let's start off with this shade that's like a go-to transition shade for me and i'm taking it on the shayla e40 Tapping off the excess. Actually, oh my God. Didn't I say that I'm going to use my Alamar Cosmetics Primer? It's a very sticky primer. So if I want anything to like stick onto my eyelids, that's a really, really good one. This is how it looks. Just a tiny little bit. And I'll just put it on both of the eyelids. But I'm so excited. So excited for that. Glaminatrix palette. I cannot even tell you how much. Okay. Let's go into play hard, which is more of like a taupey brown gray cool tone look, cool tone shade, very transitiony shade, crease shade for me. There you go. Brushes are super, super soft. See, it gives a very minimalistic cool tone taupey gray shade. My son is gone out for a birthday party and I think I've told you guys, he's so much into F1. Like he is a big F1 fanatic. Uh, he's eight years old and he went to a birthday party um, and he's going to do karting today. So excited. So excited for him. I know he's going to have a ball of a time and I'll have all the stories to listen to as soon as he comes. So because he's out and the house is quiet, I thought I'll record. <laughs> you know when I record, right? Look how beautiful that shade is. Love it. I'm going to take the pencil brush with the same shade, play hard and just swipe it on the lower lash line too my husband actually sent me a video of him cutting and i was like i want to do it so bad i'm so competitive if you guys don't know me i'm so competitive it's ridiculous <laughs> oh the next thing that i want to talk about is sinful echoes actually disclosed their palette it comes with eight matte shades and four two metallics and two duochrome shades when they reveal the palette, this is not the color story that I was expecting. It is beautiful, but this was not the color story that I was expecting. Again, this is more of a yellow, green, heavy leaning palette. Not my color story, I would say. I love the last column, you know how much I love my burgundies and you know, it's very difficult for me to stay away from them. But the first three columns, I feel like I would not reach out much um, in this palette. So that would outside my comfort zone <laughs> and this palette would retail for $45 uh, and it would be sold on their Etsy shop and it would 
launch on October the 6th, 1 p.m. Central uh, Standard Time. I'm going to next dip into this shade this greeny gray shade it's more of like a deeper gray green rather than like a green green <laughs> that makes sense and i'm gonna take the brush which is e25 we're gonna put it right in the outer corners as well as the inner corners it blends so very nicely and this green doesn't scream green to me so i'm very comfortable with this green i'm gonna take the same shade on the inner corners too these shades are so smooth Oh, I love these shades. So once we have that placed, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. And then we'll take a clean blending brush and just blend the edges. Currently, I'm just patting the shades rather than blending. And these brushes are just depositing the shades very, very nicely. As you can see, the pigment is absolutely there and it's super, super smooth. So we love that. I'm going to take the same blending brush that I used with the first transitioning shade and I'm just going to do a circular motion and just blend the edges. I'm going to take the same pencil brush with the same shade which is showbiz, the deep grey green shade and just run it over the lower lash line. I'm just connecting it towards the top lid. I'm excited today I'm going to make paneer. Do you know even what is paneer? It's like an Indian dish and it is more of like um, cottage cheese, I would say. Uh, I love paneer. Everybody in this household loves paneer. Uh, my sons, actually, both of them are not into too much of like spicy food. But this is the only food as well as like, uh, like butter chicken in the Indian food that they would eat even if it is spicy just because they just love both those dishes so very nicely. So I'm putting my next glitter glue right in the center and just making it a little tacky. This would be really, really good with like iridescent shimmers. But also, what should I even use? Like this would be amazing. This would be amazing. Uh, what should I use? I'm feeling more of the silver today. But this is amazing too. Or should I do that silver? Oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's start with the silver, which is called After Dark. And I'm taking it on the flat definer brush. It's such a smooth but metallic silver. Uh, obviously, with the fingers, it'll be all over like such metallic. It's on E14 brush. Uh, but let's apply it with the brush and see how much it picks. Oh, look at that. Yep, I just want that much. Yep, 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 yep. I don't want too much of pigment, but I do want that sparkle and shine from that shade. But I also want it to melt into that green gray shade. Just because that silver is so light, if I would apply it with my fingers, it can be too much. But I want the sparkle and the shine to be like a spotlight. Oh my god, I love it. Good decision, good decision, I love it, okay. Let's do the same thing on the other eye and it picks so very nicely on the brush. Like this brush, if you just graze through it, you can get like a very sporadic, just shimmers all across the eyelid kind of a look too. But it builds up also very, very nicely. For example, this is the two, like this is with just one light layer grazing and this is like with the pigment. I went like two or three times over it. See, this is with the second layer. And it is already there. There you go. I'm going to go back into that brush with no additional product that we used with that dark gray, green shade. And then just melt the edges just so that it smoothly flows with that metallic shade. Now, I'm just going to wipe my pencil brush and take that on the rock shade, this one, for my inner corners. Oh, it picks up so very nicely. I'm just going to pick it up right there oh my god that's also so lovely like it gives the lightness but it has such a beautiful duochrome shift to it like it is green in some angle purple in some angle and gray in some angle i think it's a multi-chrome actually really pretty so pretty i actually want to do that on the edges of this why not let's do it i'm going to take that on the rock shade that duochrome and just melt it towards the edges of that green and silver just so that it flows 
Do you need it? Absolutely not. But I'm just being a little extra. Oh, so pretty. And then once everything is there, I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush that we used as a transitioning brush and just melt down the edges just like that. The only brush that I did not use is these two actually. This, the, I feel like this would be so good for like setting the eye with the primer or um, like a cream shadow all across the eyelid because it's very, really big too. And this liner brush, I mean, you can use it on your brows if you are into it. You can line your eyes with it. I'm more of a liquid liner kind of a girl. So I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm going to uh, line my eyes with a black eyeliner. This is the Essence Eye um, Pencil in the shade Black Love. And I'm going to put some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. Okay, let's line our lips. And I'm going to take my BFF4 lip liner. There you go. I know, it's super deep. <laughs> and I'm going to, for the lipstick, I'm going to take the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick in the shade uh, Yana. Yeah, Yana. It's more of a grey toned uh, pinky shade. And with that deep chocolatey brown, it will give me that grungy effect. I wish I had like straightened my hair. It's just a blow dry <laughs> kind of a look. While we talk about it, there are three more launches that <laughs> just came in while I was talking. Wet n Wild is collaborating with Scooby Doo and I must say, I'm not so much into Wet n Wild. Like I loved Wet n Wild way in the past before even I like dived into indie makeup and stuff like that. And then their interest just went out of me. But this palette from their collaboration really, really speaks out to me. I really think that if you are in the market to try out affordable palette, Wet n Wild's quality is really, really good. And this palette's color story really, really speaks to me. So I would be interested to check out like their reviews, the swatches, and then if I feel like there is a need in my collection, I'll definitely pick it up. Also, uh, Danessa Myricks revealed her Lightworks 5 palette. Oh my God, it looks really, really pretty. It's an 18 shade eye and a face pigment palette, and it contains seven brilliant finishes, easy to use, color shifting shades i do not know what is the price of the palette it is it will be available on october 7th look at the palette it looks so pretty i love my shifting shades i really do it has like top and the bottom uh, row full of like shifty eyeshadows and middle row is eight shadows but like in a split pan last time those split pans were different finishes so i would be excited to see uh, how it actually works on the eyes and the face last time it had like water activated liner i don't know i don't think like people were a big fan of it but these palettes are super expensive uh, so i would be excited to see what is it and like how the swatches look and stuff like that we'll see how it rolls dubious place just released their afro galactic palette and this would be retail for 36 dollars and it also comes with a glitter eyeliner, which is priced at $15. It is all available in the Juvia's Place website right now. The palette looks very colorful, very, very on brand with Juvia's Place. Uh, I feel like a lot of people would be interested in it because I feel like the price is right and they give very, very pigmented eyeshadows. It's super, super pigmented for me, um, if I say so uh, myself like that. Uh, it has true teals. A hot pink shade a deep blue orange i feel like super super nice if you are eyeing such a colorful palette uh, and it goes with the theme of like afro galactic uh, i'm assuming that there would be shifty shadows too just because of the galactic name in the palette uh, but yeah very excited to see the reviews out of it but i definitely wanted to talk about it if you are interested in it definitely grab it it is available for sale on the on their website the last thing that i want to talk about is from whatsapp beauty and this is their serengeti highlighters looks so very pretty it they have like two versions of it wild acacia and sunset safari sunset i am interested in safari sunset and i can definitely see myself picking one highlighter up do i need it absolutely not does it look beautiful yes so i'm definitely gonna uh, pick it up i know for a fact they have something coming in the works for the near future in this year too 
so i'm i'm planning on picking that as well as this up we'll see how it rolls um but yes i would be very very excited to pick up the safari sunset just because that's more of like a golden -y tone uh, highlighter as compared to the white icy highlighter okay so let me show you a close-up on how everything looks before that let me just spray my face and show you my final look I love how everything turned out. I really, really love the entire look. How grungy, deep, very fall appropriate, very Halloween appropriate, I would say. <laughs> like a wearable Halloween look. And who doesn't love that? I really love it. Like if you're not into like blood and vampire kind of a look, this I would totally rock for a Halloween look. Okay, that's all for today, guys. I don't think like I have much more to talk about and most of the things might have already been available for you guys to like check out the reviews too uh, i cannot wait for my laminatrix palette to reach to me so that i can review that for you guys i know the wicked widow beauty uh, that palette is also on the way to me i am very excited for these makeup launches i also did order the bella beauty bar recently de influence palette so that is on my way too so many goodness <laughs> so many goodness i really really love it you know how much i love my eyeshadow palette so you cannot cannot blame me for that okay <laughs> But that's all for today, guys. If you did like this video, if you did like my get ready with me kind of a, a video with talking makeup releases too, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you do want to see in future, not like a get ready with me just to talk about the makeup launches, also do let me know if you want that kind of a video in the uh, future. You don't want to see me get ready and just talk about it. Uh, I can easily film it for you guys. I just love doing makeup. That's why I do this. <laughs> but yes, that's all for today, guys. If you did like it, you know what to do do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesday thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys